Okay, welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to show how I've added functionality to Bullet 2. I used to have Bullet 1 and Bullet 2 prefabs both using this Bullet 1 script and I've added a durable bullet aspect to number 2. So I copied number 1 into number 2 and I've added some stuff into number 2 that I will show you now and I basically call everything from the ship script. So why don't I show you how this works here. My number two, well here's bullet one that we all know and love. I'm pushing number two now and I can shoot through one enemy and if it hit another one you'd see that the bullet would be destroyed. It works better when the enemies come down from the top of the screen. Um, and if I can get that to work well, actually, so I have number three key. Um, I've pushed it a couple times, so now the uh, the bullet can destroy several objects. Oh, I missed that one. So you've seen it. So let me go show you the, the script now for how that works. Oh, good, here's another one. There's one bullet, and it destroyed four things in a row. Excellent. Okay, stop the game. Heading over to bullet two. All right, so this looks a lot like bullet one. I've added a variable durable as an integer. And um, you'll notice that it's not being declared or initialized as anything, I should say, in start because the ship script is going to send in that value. So every time on trigger enter is called with every collision, it's going to check to see if the bullet hits an enemy. If it does, it's going to see if durable is greater than zero. If it is greater than zero, it decrements durable by one, or else it just destroys the bullet. So let's head over to the ship script. And at the top here, I have declared bullet, dur uh, yeah, bullet durable here as an integer. And in the ship script, I do want to declare it or not declare, uh, initialize it as a value. So I set it equal to 1. So it's going to be able to shoot down one enemy object, um, and then it will die on the next one after that. Now going down to where I select weapons. So at the moment I have alpha 1, 2, and 3. The 1 and 2 are um, selecting the different weapons, and alpha 3 right now just lets me... Um, test the code and every time I hit three it increments bullet durable so I can shoot down extra enemies as you've seen so down here in the the shooting script part of the script I have added this line here for the clone to um, set the durable variable um, equal to bullet durable so that's how you do it durable bullets in arc shoot